hey guys welcome to programming knowledge hope you are all doing good today we are going to look out on how to create a simple and print app using kiwi so let's get started so a simple paint app will contain a feature in which whenever a user clicks on the screen a small ellipse will be created user can also create lines between those ellipses so basically whenever a user clicks on the screen an ellipse will be created or like ellipses will be created and a line will be created between them whenever a user drops on the mouse now let us look at the implementation steps of simple paint app so first thing we are required is importing required libraries the second step is we need to create a method for creating ellipses with a click on the screen and the third step is we need to create a method for creating lines between those ellipses on screen the last step is we will be creating a main method to run the application in which the two method which i have mentioned will be provided like we will be running the program no let's look at the required libraries which we are going to import the first one is we are going to import app from kiwi.app then we are going to import widget from kiwi.ux.widget and lastly the most important thing is we are going to import color ellipse and line from kiwi.graphics so these are the things we are going to import now let's look at on on the method for creating ellipses with click on screen so the first thing is we'll create a class in which we'll we'll pass on the widget which we have imported from kiwi.uix.widget followed by we'll create a method and we'll provide the self keyword along with the touch so once the method um, that uh, is created then what we'll do inside that we'll define with self dot canvas and inside the canvas we'll define the color code and the dimension as d is equal to 30 and color as 1 comma 1 comma 0 which is a yellow color similarly you can provide as you want you can set the red or blue or green as you want lastly we'll define the method for creating the ellipses on the screen which is providing ellipse inside that we'll provide the position as touch dot x minus d by 2 and touch dot y minus d by 2 and followed by we'll provide the size as d comma that d which is 30 comma 30 and we'll use the touch dot ud and uh, inside the brackets we'll provide as line and uh, equals to line of points equals to touch dot x comma touch dot y so we have defined the method for creating ellipses with click on screen so let's look out for method of creating lines between those ellipses and we have already defined the line so for doing that what i'm going to do i'm again going to create a method called def which is definition and on underscore touch underscore move which is a method name and provide the self as touch as we also did for creating a ellipses with click on screen as we have defined self and touch. So what will happen next is we'll again use the touch dot ud line dot points plus equals to as we have defined over here touch dot ud of line and line of points equals to touch dot x comma touch dot y. Similarly we'll use touch dot ud of line dot points plus equals to touch dot x dot comma touch dot y what this will do is whenever i am uh, like clicking on screen an ellipse will be created followed by whenever i am dragging down the mouse line will be created between those ellipses this is how we will create the method for creating lines between the ellipses and creating ellipses with click on screen by using those two methods on class my friend widget inside that the next step what we are going to do is we will create a main method for the application so here we will define the like build as my method name and provide the self keyword and we will return the my print widget in the class and lastly inside the main method we will run the application in my paint app dot run which will run the application 
So this is the code for creating a simple pay tag and running the application. So that's it for today. In the next tutorial, we'll be running the code and provide you the demonstration of how this simple paint app works. So, see you in next tutorial. Thank you for joining with Programming Knowledge. Bye guys.